Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. So we welcome all our NBC family visitors and all of those joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. He always has something for you. So get ready to receive for yourself. Amen. Not for somebody else, but be open for him to bless you. Amen. Leave change. Leave a new person. Yeah. Amen. He's got plans for you and none of them include defeat. Amen. And he's all you have to do is make yourself available. Be yeah. available to him. Amen. And we're just going to go over a few little things that we went over last time and then we're going to get right into it. Yeah. But praise God. Well, that first of all, grab your, grab your swords, grab your Bibles. Yes. And let's uh, make this declaration together. Yeah. Amen. So this is my Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is correct. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, remember, remember that the battlefield is the mind. And there's things going all the time. So you have to renew your mind to the things of God all the time. Renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. So praise God. Amen. And we're going to continue with committing to Him. Yes. Let go and let God. And we have to commit ourselves to Him. Yes. Amen. Yes. If you don't, <laughs> you're going to have some problems. Yeah. I'm just going to go over a few little nuggets here that I shared with you last time. But it says, don't let, don't tell God about your problem. Tell your problem about your God. Uh -huh. Amen. Magnify your God and not your problem. Yeah. But we tend to reverse that. We turn, tend to uh, turn that around. Magnify your God, not your problem. The word of the, yeah. the song of God in the, in the psalm says, Oh, magnify the Lord. Yes. We're to magnify Him. Amen. But we, we tend to go the other way. It says, Don't waste your time t uh, talking about your problem, uh -huh. but rather give Him praise and thanks to the problem solver. Yes. Lord, I just want to praise you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Amen. Come on now. Woo. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but <laughs> worry is worshiping your problem. Prayer is surrendering your problem. Yeah. Are you surrendering your problem? If you're casting it on Him, are you leaving it there or are you taking it back? All right, now. Amen. You got to leave it there. Don't take it back. Leave it with Him. Amen. Yes. So worrying is worshiping your problem. Prayer is surrendering your problem. Yeah. If you're going to worry, why pray? Yeah. And if you pray, why worry. worry? Amen. Come on. Woo. I'm excited. <laughs> Amen. So, let go and let God. Yes. Amen. Let me take this off. Take these glasses Hallelujah. off. So, let go, let go and let God. Commit to Him. Let go and let God means to give back to God that which is already His. Yes. Amen. He's done all of this for us. And, but we yes. take it. He says, cast it on me. Mm -hmm. But we keep taking it back. Uh -huh. But you got to let it go. When we, have, when we let go and let God, we adopt His agenda for our own. We make Him the center of our hearts, yes. the center of our lives. And we adopt, uh, uh, devote ourselves to doing His will. Amen. Amen. We're going to be talking about some storms of life. Amen. Right. We, the, it, it, well, let, me, let me give you some text we're going to use. Matthew 8, you can write these down. Matthew 8, 23 and through 27. Mark 4, 35 through 41, and Luke 8, 22 through 25. And this is, we're going to be talking about Jesus calms their storms. Amen? Jesus calms Amen. their storms. They had problems, uh -huh. but Jesus calms their storms. And you yes. know what? The same, the same Jesus will calm your storms. Amen. Yeah, we all go through the same storms. Yes. Problems, okay? Problems. But he will calm those storms. Amen. Listen to this. Storms come to all people, yes. saved or unsaved. If you if you got saved, meaning you thought the problems is gonna stop, it's not. The storms are gonna come. As a matter of fact, he's gonna attack you even more because yeah. he wants you back. Mm -hmm. if, if 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 the enemy lost you and Jesus got you now, mm -hmm. guess what? The enemy is gonna try to get you back. That's it. And he's gonna try real hard to get you back. Mm -hmm. And if you're not renewing your mind with the Word of God and applying yourself and learning the things of God, that's it. He's gonna want to come back. He wants you back. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the problems that we have, some, just uh, some family problems, health problems, 
marital problems, financial problems, some addiction problems. All right. We've all been through these. Mm. The fact that we've been saved doesn't mean that troubles will not come our way. Amen. When storms come, realize your source. What is my source? Jesus, the Word of God. Amen. That's why it's so important that you renew your mind with the Word of God and feed yes. yourself the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says that you'll know the truth and the truth is going to mm -hmm. set you free. Before, I didn't know what to rely on. Mm -hmm. Now I know to rely on Him. Yes. Now I know to rely on His Word. Yeah, yeah. And I read His Word so when things come, I know how to attack the problem. Yes. Amen. Cast it on Him. But also, the Word's going to come out of me because it's in me now. Amen. Yeah. So, get filled with the Word. John 6, uh, 16, 33 says this in the New King James. In these things, I have spoken to you that in me, you will have peace. Yeah. In the world, you will have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have yeah. overcome the world. The easy to read version goes like this. Mm. I have told you these things so that you can have peace mm -hmm. in me. In this world, you will have troubles, but be brave. I have defeated the world. That's it. Amen. Listen, I, I want to read it to you this way also. is Don't let people, don't let circumstances mm. take you out of your peace. All right. Don't let them take you, take you out, of, out of your joy. Mm -hmm. You bring them into your peace. Yes. You have control by spending time with Him, by spending time in the Word. So yes. you're going to have peace, and they're going to want the peace that you have. They're going to want the joy you have. Yeah. The Bible says joy of the Lord is our strength. Mm -hmm. So I'm strong in Him. Amen. Amen. But this world, on a daily basis, and circumstances, is going to try to get you out of your peace. Mm -hmm. It's going to try to stir you up and give you all kinds of problems. Amen. So yep. ooh, just know how to prepare yourselves. That's it. Before you leave the house, before you leave or go where you're going, That's just true. prepare yourself and spend time with Him. Yeah. So you know what to do, Lord. Amen. How is He going to use you? Let go and let God. Amen. Mm -hmm. These are some good scriptures. You can write them down. Proverbs 16, th uh, 3. Proverbs 16, verse 3 says this. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plan. Yes. That's He's got a plan for you. Yes, he does. You know, a lot of us have plans and we go to God and says, Bless my plan. Mm. God says, I have a plan for you and it's yes. already blessed. Yes. Why don't we take his plan and go with mm -hmm. his plan? Amen. And we'll succeed and be winners that's why. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. But this Proverbs 16 and 3 and verse uh, Exodus 14 and, and 14 says, The Lord will fight for you. And you will only excuse me, and you will only be silent. And you will only be silent. He will fight for you, but he wants us to be silent. And a lot of us <laughs> we don't know how to be silent. <laughs> we have to say something. And a lot of times is when we say something, we don't say the right things. Mm -hmm. And we get ourselves in trouble because yeah. we're saying negative things yeah. instead of positive things. Yeah. Amen. So if he says be silent, know when to be silent. Yeah. And if you're not going to be silent, know to say the right things and not the bad things. I know how yeah. to say a lot of bad things, but I don't want no bad things in my life. Mm -hmm. And you don't want those bad things in your life either. Yeah. Amen. But he says in Exodus 14, 14, the Lord will fight for you. Who's going to fight for you? The Lord. The Lord is. Amen. He said, didn't say nothing about your friend. He didn't say nothing about the yeah. world. He didn't say about nobody else. He said, right. Lord, Lord, I'm trusting you. Thank you for fighting for me. And you will only be silent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're going to say something, yeah. confess the word. Yeah. Confess the word. If you're going to say something, confess uh, faith-filled words. Amen. Yes. Psalms 34, uh, 34 and 17 says, The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. Yes. Are we listening? He says the Lord hears you. Uh -huh. But you know what? The battlefield of the mind is yes. God didn't hear you. So you got to repeat yourself because you think God is deaf. Oh my God. He didn't hear me. So I'm going to say it over. Uh -uh. And I'm going to say it over. And I'm going to say it over. Uh -uh. That's doubt and unbelief. That's it. Amen. You got to have faith. Lord, you heard me. He hears you. Yes. Because the word of God says in Psalms 34, 17, the righteous cry out. That's yes. us. The righteous cry out. And the Lord hears them. Yes. He delivers them from all, all their troubles. Mm -hmm. Not some. All. He says all. Mm -hmm. But we have to trust and believe. Yes. We got to have faith and yes. trust. Amen. 
And of course, Peter, First Peter uh, five seven, we use it all the time. But it says, "Cast all mm -hmm. your cares on Him, because He cares for you." Mm -hmm. It didn't say some. That's it. Or half of them. He says, "Cast mm -hmm. all your cares on Him." When you empty your trash to the dumpster, no. you just just don't empty no. half of the trash in your house. Mm. You take it all. It's time to take it all. They yes. come pick it up from the dumpster. Yeah. But you got to take all your trash. Mm -hmm. You know what? On a daily basis, renew your mind mm -hmm. and take all your trash yes. and dump it and give it to him. You know, all yes. those cares yes. because he cares for you. He, does, he doesn't want any extra weight, distractions or anything holding you back. That's it. I've got a mission for you. I've got a plan for you. Mm -hmm. And none of them include their feet. That's it. And you don't have to carry all these things. Just lighten up the load. And yeah. <laughs> press on with the Lord. Amen. Yeah. And fulfill what God has called you to do. Yes. And he didn't call you to fail. He called you to succeed. Amen. Yeah. See yourself that way. He sees you a winner. You need to start seeing yourself that way. Mm. You're a winner. You're a champion for God. Well, that's not what the world says. That's not what so-and-so says. That's not what my friend says. Well, forget about them. <laughs> start confessing what the word says. Yeah. Be a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. That's Amen. It. Come on now. Amen. Philippians 4 and 6 says this. New Living Translation. Don't worry about anything. Mm -hmm. Instead, pray about everything. everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Yeah. If you don't know what else to say, yes. just get before Him and say, thank you for all mm -hmm. the things you have blessed me with. Yeah. He's a blessor. Yes. He wants to bless you so that you could be a blessing. Yes. Thank you. He just don't bless you to keep it all. He wants to bless you so that you could be a blessing to somebody. Yes. Bless somebody with a kind word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bless somebody. Mm -hmm. Don't just let them stay. You know, if God speaks to you and says, tell them this, say this, or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, it's going to bless them. It's going to make their day. Yes. It's going to change their lives. Yes. Can you imagine? God used you to deliver a word uh -huh. to somebody and it changed their lives. Yes, it did. Amen. So praise God. See yourself. That's how important you are to Him. That's it. We're the body. He's the head, we're the body. And the body speaks for him. We're the ambassadors, we're the ministers of reconciliation in this world. Amen. Bringing the world, bringing the word of God to people that lost people. Yes. Storm, trouble always get our attention. Realize your source, Jesus. Not the world, not booze, not drugs, nothing else. Amen. Amen. Again. Don't let people take you out of your peace. Yes, yes. Don't let people take you out of your joy. You yes, bring them yes. into your peace. Your Amen. Peace. Yes, Praise God. Amen. But we often rely and depend on self, sure. our skills, our abilities, family, friends, money, booze, drugs, right. <laughs> world. It's just a few. I mean, there's many more. Yeah. All is well when things is going smooth mm -hmm. and easy. Remember. We just sang this a few minutes ago. Thank you, praise team. He's God on the mountain, and he's God in the valley. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes. Okay. He's with you all the time. All you, the if time. you ever read the uh, Psalms 23, he says he'll walk with you mm -hmm. through the valley of shadow of death. Yes. And he's with you. So he doesn't walk away from us. <laughs> we walk away from him. Yes. And we, we, need to, we, not, we need not to do that. Amen. That's it. So... Amen. Hebrews uh, 13 and 5 said, you can write that down. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Mm -hmm. he, he's, he's not gone. He, he didn't go anywhere. Yes, we sir. went somewhere. We went. We, we walked away. Mm -hmm. He never walked away. Huh? That's it. Listen to this. <laughs> when we're in sin, <laughs> All right. when we're in sin, no. everything is easy, mm -hmm. smooth, comfy. Yeah. You try to get out of sin, oh, wow. and all hell breaks loose. Yes, <laughs> I'm That's serious. True. I'm That's serious. True. When you get it, try to get out of sin, mm -hmm. it's rough, tough, and hell breaks loose. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because the enemy wants mm -hmm. don't want to lose you, mm -hmm. and the enemy wants you back, mm -hmm. and he's gonna send all kind of things to give you hell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I say, oh man, <laughs> I better not change. I'm just gonna stay yeah. the way I am. No, yeah. don't do that. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. So let's remember this. We forget about Jesus. Mm -hmm. We all need this. We use it like a spare tire. All right. 
It's not good. Only as needed. Mm. In, in case of emergency. Mm. <laughs> Help me. Dig me out of this. This one, <laughs> this one time. One last time, Lord. <laughs> and I'll change. Mm. Amen. How many times have we said that? Mm. How many times has he heard that? All right. Or whatever excuse you use. Yeah. We use all kinds of excuses. Mm -hmm. Lord, just help me this one time. Mm -hmm. And I won't do it again. Mm. Okay? So, he's, he's, he's heard it all. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. And he loves you the most. Uh -huh. And he's not going to give up on you. Yeah. We give up on him. Yes. yes. Amen. We forget about him. When things are going smooth, mm -hmm. we forget about him. Mm -hmm. Until things are going tough, and then we remember. Mm. It's just oh. like the spare tire, you know. Mm -hmm. Everything's going smooth in your drive and your mm -hmm. in your in your, your trip. But if you have a a, a, a trouble, if you have a a, a flat tire, no. then it's time to bring out the, the spare tire. Mm -hmm. It's time to bring out Jesus when things is going bad. <laughs> no, you don't like that. All right, you don't like to be a part time pastor. I mean, God. Yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> we. We are powerless without him. Uh -huh. Patricia was cooking this morning. I said, <laughs> I told her, I said, you know, all the kitchen tools that you have in the kitchen are great and they help you cook. But if you didn't have the source, the power mm -hmm. to plug them in and yeah. use them, be useless. Mm -hmm. If you didn't, if you couldn't put gas in your car to use, it wouldn't be no good. That's it. Couldn't go anywhere. No we need him. To succeed in this life. Yes, yes. Without him, we're no match to the enemy. Yes, right. Amen. The Bible says part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. Yes, yes. And we need to stay full all the time. All the Don't time. let yourself run low. That's it. Amen. You gotta stay full. Amen. Keep yourself full all the time. Mm -hmm. Powerless, without source, unplugged and disconnected. We need to do the same thing. We need to stay connected. To our source and that's Jesus yes. and you know we have some things to do what do I have to do <laughs> maybe I need read the word renew my mind mm -hmm. and hang out with the right people yeah yeah but hanging out with the wrong crowd because they're gonna pull you down mm -hmm. and the enemy's gonna see to it that he sends the wrong crowd yeah okay so be careful ask the Lord he's gonna bring the right people that's yes. gonna bless you yes some for for a short season, some for a longer season. But they're going to be there to help you out all the way. Amen. Amen. So remember this. No match to the devil. Part-time believers, no match to the full-time devil. Mm -hmm. No match to daily storms without him. That's it. Storms of life are going to come. The, the giants of this world are going to come. Yeah. And you're no match to them without him. That's it. <laughs> Lord, I can't, I can't succeed without you. That's right. We need to remember this. Yes. We can't succeed without Him. That's right. We need Jesus, the Word, to fight a spiritual battle daily. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's a spiritual battle that you fight. Mm -hmm. you, you don't match without the Word. It's, it's it. a spiritual battle that you mm -hmm. fight. So you got to renew your mind, read mm -hmm. the Word, feed on the Word. Yes. And be ready. Amen. Be ready. And God is going to bless you. God is going to use you. Realize God is your source of power. Mm -hmm. Have an attitude of gratitude and dependency. Mm -hmm. Trouble or troubles and storms uh, hopefully will drive us to God and not away from God. Mm -hmm. You know, what happens is as long as you have a relationship, everything's going smooth. Mm -hmm. But you stop that relationship and distractions are going to come. Oh, wow. And interfere with your relationship. Yes. And if you quit your relationship, you just unhooked yourself, mm -hmm. unplugged yourself. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know is the enemy's going to have his way with you. Yeah. Hey Amen. What happened? Well, we walked away from it. Mm -hmm. We unplugged ourselves. We need to stay connected at all yeah. times. Amen. Amen. Come on, this is easy, but we got to do it. Mm -hmm. Unload all excuses or all baggage, all excuses, distractions, oh, and traditions on him mm -hmm. get rid of the uh, devil and all his friends and anyone or anything <laughs> he uses yeah god uses people we yeah. call ourselves believers we call ourselves christians mm -hmm. but if you're a non-christian uh -huh. the enemy is going to use you yes he will he uses people just like god uses people mm -hmm. so he's going to get his thing done his mm -hmm. job done mm -hmm. let's remember that that's it 
Submit to God. Resist the devil, it says. Uh, James 4, 7. And the King James says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Yeah. You have to do something. you got to submit yourself to God first. And then you got to resist, and he'll flee from you. Yes. Amen. Say, wait a minute. <laughs> you used to be easy. You're not easy anymore. <laughs> You're growing. You're yeah. maturing yeah. in the things yeah. of God. That's it. Amen. And that's what we need to do. We have children. And children grow. Yes. We are children in the word mm -hmm. when we start. We're babies in the word. Uh -huh. But we need to we're we're maturing and growing in the word. Mm -hmm. And the enemy maybe had his ways at first, but not anymore. Not so anymore. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. You're maturing in the things of God. You're yes. growing in the things of God. Now you're speaking the word of God. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm out of here. Submit yourself to God, resist the yes. devil, and he'll flee from you. Amen. Again, first Peter five seven says, Cast all cares on him because he cares for you. Amen. He's gonna to try to bring all kind of cares upon you. Mm -hmm. I said, wait a minute, you can put all you can try to put anything on me. Mm. But I know where to take them. Yeah. I know where to take them. Lord, I'm giving them to you. And when he comes back and says, Try to give it back to you. Says, "I don't know. I gave it to him. That's you go. It. You go talk to him. That's You're it. talking to the wrong person. Mm -hmm. Let him know where to go." Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. This is this is a funny one. Fully relying on God spells yes. fraud. Mm. <laughs> it's an acronym. Fraud. Fully relying on God on a daily basis. Lord, I'm relying on you on a daily basis. He's my source, and we need to we need to remember this. We just don't yeah. try him. It's a lifestyle. Amen. Right. That's it. It's a lifestyle. Guard your words. Mm -hmm. I know we talk about this all the time, but it's 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 a, it's a walk. Yes. We need to guard our words. Yes, we do. Don't tell me you couldn't do it. it says guard your words. Speak faithful words. Speak faithful words in your life. Mm -hmm. Sounds hard, but no excuse. Just do it. Yeah. You have a choice. Yes, Just like you had a choice to say the negative thing, mm -hmm. you have a choice to say the positive things. I'm just going to reverse this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn this around and start speaking the right things. And people will come and say, you know, I ain't going to hang out with you anymore because you're talking funny and you're talking the wrong things. And you're one of them Christians now. Yeah, mm -hmm. because the Word of God is now mm -hmm. coming out of me and confessing the Word of God and not the negative things. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm not talking like the word, like the world, and I'm not a man pleaser anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm a God pleaser, yeah. and I'm going to speak what the word of God tells me to That's speak. Good. Amen. That's it. So praise God. Philippians four thirteen. I said, well, I can't do that, you know. But the Philippians four thirteen says, I. Yes. And you take the I and scratch it, and you put your yes. name there. I. Jose. Jose can do all things through Christ, Christ. who strengthens me. That's, it. That's my daily. Let that be your daily confession. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When you have doubt and don't believe, when you say, I can't do this, that's not what the Word of God says. The Word of God says, I can do all things through Christ. Lord, I'm doing this through you. Give me the strength to do this. And you know, Jesus, on a daily basis, needed strength to fulfill his mission that God sent him on. And he knew when he came that he's going to be sacrificed. But still, on a daily basis, he needed that strength, that extra strength for him to continue on his walk, on his mission. Yeah. And we need to do the same thing. You know, you've probably heard this before, but uh, in Timothy, in 2 Timothy, it talks about things are going to get worse in the last days. Yeah. And we're in the last days. And things are going to get worse. So how do I survive? By staying connected to him. By being a child of God and doing what he calls me to do. That's how we're going to survive. Amen. Praise God. And he says he's already overcome this world. Praise God. So our words are carriers. Yeah. And have creative power of life and death. That's what the word of God says. In Proverbs 18, 21 it says, death and life are in the power of your tongue. Or in the power of your words. The words you speak. So we need to be careful of the words we speak. You know what carrier is? Carrier is, it carries something. And words carry something. What does it carry? It carries life or it carries death. Right. And you're releasing it. So you're either releasing uh, life or death. 
and it's going somewhere and you're sowing it means you're planting it somewhere yeah. but it's growing in your own garden so you have to be careful because you don't want that to grow in your garden That's most of the words spoken today are negative words that bring uh, death trouble problems hurt opens the door for the enemy to come in how do we open the door the bible says the enemy runs around the roaring lion seeking who he may devour how does he know who to devour huh. by the words you speak by the words you speak you're opening the door for him to come how did he get in mm. you open the door by the words you're saying the negative things you said open the door for him to come in say wait a minute renew your mind and get all that out we're bombarded daily listen we're bombarded daily by negative media tv Internet, sales, newspapers, radio, people, family, friends, co-workers. Mm. That's quite a lot. Yes. And you hear it all the time. You can't get away from it. You hear it all the time. So it's up to me to renew my mind with the Word of God. So, you know, you can't help it. Mm. You hear it. And if you don't renew your mind with the Word of God, you'll start acting that way. And you'll start being like the world. Amen? Yeah. So don't give in to that. It's us being a tri-being. Remember, you're a tri-being. We're a spirit, we have a soul, and we live in the body. In the, body. the spirit feed the word of God. The soul is your mind, your will, and emotions. You renew with the word of God. Mm -hmm. And your body is your flesh. It says crucify. Crucify. <laughs> your flesh wants mm -hmm. all the easy stuff. It just wants mm -hmm. to sit and do nothing. <laughs> it says crucify it. Sometimes we got to get up and we got to do some things for God. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Romans 12 and 2. You can write this down. I'm going to read it for you from the easy to read version. All right. Romans 12, chapter 12, verses 2. It says, don't change yourself to be like the people of the world, but let mm -hmm. God change you instead with a new way of thinking, renewing of your mind. Yeah. Then you will be able to understand and accept what God wants you, God wants for you. Yeah. You will be able to know what is good and pleasing to Him and what yes. is perfect. Yes. Amen. So let's, re let's remember this. We, mm -hmm. we need to do something. We have a part to do. Yeah. And my part is to renew my mind yes. with the Word of God. Amen. I'm being bombarded. I hear stuff. And I could repeat all those things, but I don't have to. I got to put a guard and not repeat those things because it's not of the, uh, it's not of the Lord. Mm. It's not positive, it's negative. That's right. Amen. Amen. The power of faithful words will completely change your attitude about the words you speak. Mm -hmm. They can change your life and your future. Yes. Words are like seeds sown going before us, planting your future mm -hmm. of life or death. Yeah. Amen. I think I've said it like this before. You can frame your world with the words you speak. Yes. You can build your world or you can tear down your world just by the words you speak. And you're sometimes, when you look in the mirror, you're your worst problem. Oh, gosh. Because you're saying those things and you're coming against yourself. You got to forgive yourself and you got to press on with the things of God. Yes, Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. I don't care what the world says, <laughs> what they said about you, or what you've done. If God has forgiven you mm -hmm. and forgotten about it, it's time that you do the same thing. Yeah, that's it. We talked about this last week. The that's past it. is just a lesson. Yeah. It's not a present for you to stay back. Yeah, that's it. Amen. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> it's not for you. It's just a learning thing, you know. Mm -hmm. When trouble comes your way, again, speak faith-filled words. And guess what? <laughs> There's no, um, you're not exempted. Yeah. It's going to come. <laughs> it's going to come. Yes, People are going to react to troubles in different ways. Yeah. Listen to this. Some grumble. Some gripe about it. Mm -hmm. Some groan about it. Mm -hmm. Some gripe, gripe, grieve about it. And mm -hmm. some groan about it. But here's what we do. We grow. Yeah. That's good. We grow from it. Grow. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's time to grow. It's time to grow. It's time to mature in the things of God. Instead of grumbling, when you grumble, you're going to say things you shouldn't have said. That's it. But let's grow. When, when, when you grow, you're maturing and you're growing in the, yes. in the, in the things of God. That's good. 
Trouble will never leave a person the same. It will either leave you bitter or better. Ooh. You're either a victorious mm -hmm. or you're a victim. Yeah. But the choice is yours. Yes, it is. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Hopefully it'll leave you better. Yeah. <laughs> you can leave a successful life <laughs> even in the midst of troubles or yes. storms. That's good. They say that there's peace in the eye of the storm. Mm -hmm. Two great examples. Jesus mm -hmm. and Paul. Yeah. The Apostle Paul. They had problems, but they had peace. Mm -hmm. And they were never got out of their peace. That's it. They always stayed in that peace. Yes. Amen. Paul wrote two thirds. Well, Jesus fulfilled his mission. Mm -hmm. Paul fulfilled his mission. He wrote two thirds of the Bible, New a New Testament. Testament excuse me, two thirds of the New Testament mm -hmm. in prison. Yes, yes. You know, he could have been in prison. If I was in prison, I'd be complaining. Yeah. I'd be crying. <laughs> you know. Oh God. But he wrote two thirds of the New Testament mm -hmm. in prison. He had peace over the situation. Mm -hmm. There was calmness yes. in his storms that he faced on a daily mm -hmm. basis. Yes, Amen. Paul and Silas. Yeah. <laughs> They sung praises to the Lord in the midst of their storms and their problems. Instead of griping and complaining, yes. they started praising God. Amen. And guess what? God heard them. Jesus, yes, he, did. he came and he opened his cells. He, the chains fell off. Yes. Amen. And he's going to do the same for you. Yes, he will. Whatever situation you're going through, mm -hmm. give it to him. He's going to yes. see you over that. Amen. You are an overcomer. Praise God. Yeah. Don't let people, again, don't let people and circumstances take you out of your peace and your joy on a daily basis. Just because troubles or storms come your way doesn't mean you have to take it laying down. Doesn't mean you have to throw in the towel. Doesn't mean you have to quit. Doesn't mean you have to give up. Doesn't mean that you're a quitter. Just remember that you're a winner. I'm a champion. I'm yes. a child of God. Amen. I can do all things through all Christ who strengthens me. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. I used to give in. I used to take it down, sit, mm. sitting down. I used to take it. Mm. Not anymore. I know what to say. I know what to do. Amen. Mm. The enemy sees that. Mm. And people see this. And they see you grow. They see you mature. And you're going to lose friends. <laughs> you're going to lose friends and you're going to change uh, friends. Yes. Because God's going to bring you the right people around. Yes, yes. Amen. So we're winners. We're overcomers. We're more than conquerors. Mm -hmm. The greater one is in me. I can do all things through him. Know yes. whose you are and who you belong to. That's it. Amen. When you go before the enemy, <laughs> know yeah. who's back in me. Amen. You can't do this no more. You can't push me around the devil anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen. Greater see this in me. Amen. Mm -hmm. God is with me. And God, I'm on God's winning side. Yes. You cannot escape from encountering troubles in life. But Jesus has given us the power and the authority to drive troubles and storms away. Mm -hmm. We need to remember this. We just can't call a brother so and so. We can't just call a yeah. pastor so and so <laughs> and let them do it for us. We have to mature and get it in us so that we can start saying it ourselves. Yeah. He's given us authority. Now, yes. I'm going to stand on that authority and speak it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And enemy is going to flee from you. Yes. Amen. So use that power, that authority God has given us. And you drive those storms out in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. That's good. Praise God. So use the power and authority given to you. You cannot prevent the birds of trouble or storms or cares from flying over your head but you can stop them from building a nest over yeah. your head or over your life i've changed it used to be that way not anymore, not anymore. <laughs> i've grown i've matured we we'll keep saying that word we need to grow up we need to mature in the things of god stop running from your troubles your storms your worries your cares take a stand ephesians 6 13 and 14 says this in the easy to read version Put on the whole armor of God. 
That is why we need to get God's whole armor. Yes. Then on the day of evil, you will be able to stand strong. Yes. And when you are, have finished your whole fight, you will you're, you'll still be standing. And when you're done stand, he says, when you when you've done all you can do to stand, yes. you're yes. still standing. Yes. That's good. Amen. Because greater one is in us. Amen. Yes, yes. And we're standing in Him. Praise God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're going to close there. I want to read this to you. I read it. Well, I said it a few minutes ago, but Psalms 23 and 4 says, God on the mountain and God in the valley. Mm -hmm. Psalms 23 and 4 says this in the Amplified. You either will walk through the valley of shadow. Yea, the walk through, excuse me, deep. yes, hey. though I walk through the deep, sunless valleys <laughs> of the shadow of death, uh -huh. I will fear or dread no evil. Uh -huh. For you are with me, your rod to protect, and your staff to guide, they will comfort me. Again, he's always with us. He never walks away from us. We walk away from him. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to study your word read your word father god let your word father god be with us and we just want to be there for you god we want to let go and let god father god we trust yeah. you we have faith in you father god. in jesus precious name we thank you father bless each and every one lord praise god amen and amen if you never accepted him now's the time yeah. you know to just say jesus I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. You know, things are getting worse. Things are getting bad. You know, now's the time to just make a change. Yeah. You don't have to give in. Just come to Him. You know, He says, Be my Lord and Savior. And He'll start from this day on making a change in your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. And start living for Him and not against Him. Yeah. So praise God. If you need a touch of healing, all you need to do is just say, Lord Jesus. I receive my healing. Yes. The Bible says, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. So whatever is hurting you, Father, I just thank you. Touch them, Lord. Wherever it is, they need a touch of you, Father. Amen. Thank you, then. By Jesus Christ, they're healed. And we receive that healing right now. In Jesus Christ's name, Lord. Amen. Praise God. So in time to give, if you're watching, listening, you'd like to give, you tithe, your offerings, you still can. Just go to our website, nbcbigben.com. And just say, uh, I hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. We just wanted to say, God loves you and we love you. Amen. Praise God.